Hey, what's up guys? Dr. Kyle Loveless here. On my drive time here, I'm gonna do a quick shift your thinking, shift your health video, and really just changing your mindset. If I can shift your thinking 15, 20 degrees, I can put you on a whole new trajectory towards better health and healing. And hey, today's show, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about something very, very, very valuable. This is so important. It seems like not big, a big deal, but my topic or focus is gonna be the medicine cabinet, right? We all have that weird cabinet in our bathroom uh, that, you know, this this idea that we have this one place that we keep all of our drugs or our you know pills or whatever so we can make it through our day or so we can fight off something like our body really truly needs help. That idea is just to me, if we stopped and considered it, is pretty wacky, but it's what we all grew up with. We all think it's normal to have your robotus and your itchy achy stuff you be so eh, itchy achy stuffies. Whatever, so you can sleep medication, your day quills, your night quills. Um, all those different things. We have our Tylenols, our aspirins, our ibuprofens, our Aleves, Excedrins. Uh, the list goes on and it is truly crazy because if we actually truly understood what these medicines in our medicine cabinets were made of and how that impacts and affects our body, we would never do this. In a million years, we would never consider doing this, but it's because we've been taught it's normal. So I want to shift your thinking today by shifting the way you um, evaluate and manage your health. So let's talk about why we have that in the first place. So all those things I listed, you know, I'm talking about the general medicine cabinet. I'm not talking about you know, if your blood pressure is high and blood pressure medication, although I don't agree with a lot of things, um, even in, in the, disease, in the um, symptom process of blood pressure or um, you know, uh, uh, thyroid medications or um, uh, whatever your constant medications that you are, that you are on are, I'm gonna talk about more of the ibuprofen, the Aleves, the Excedrins, the Robitussins, over-the-counter medications that we take for common colds, for headaches, for aches and pains. I talked about this a little bit in the last video on shift your thinking, shift your health. But this idea that we need something to kind of stop our body from producing symptoms. So let's talk about this. I was seeing patients this morning and an amazing patient of ours, and I say amazing, all our patients are, are awesome. There's you know, always a few, but hey, for the most part, everybody's awesome. And uh, two little girls came in, they get adjusted once a week. And one of them had a cold a, about, let's see, two weeks ago, and she had her birthday party coming up. And she was, you know, just not, just really under the weather, you know, fighting off things, this cough that wouldn't stop. Um, and, uh, you know, her mom's like, how can we get rid of it? Her, because she was newer to our clinic, um, and newer to this way of thinking of natural health and, and letting your body heal itself and all that kind of stuff, she's still in that mindset of, I just need to go to the doctor, I need to get an antibiotic, I need to get all these other things to get rid of this cough. Right? Her, I, her mindset was get rid of the cough. And that's where our mindset is so many times is I want to get rid of the fever. I want to get rid of the cough. I want to get rid of the sore throat. I want to get rid of the uh, throwing up. I want to get rid of, get rid of, get rid of all these symptoms. However, and this is what I talked to her about today because that within a, uh, within a period of time before the um, before the uh, birthday party, that was the biggest concern, you know, want to get her better before the birthday party. So we had her coming in, I think she, was, she did like three or four adjustments within two days. She was getting adjusted really often. That helps boost the immune system by boosting the nervous system and, and balancing the body into homeostasis. The body heals itself better in that state. So the adjustment actually doesn't get rid of the cold. The adjustment is not a treatment for any kind of cold. It's a support to the system so it can be stronger and then the body can heal itself, okay? So we get this. The, one of the perspectives I want you to get today is that your body was powerfully and wonderfully made. It doesn't need help healing. It just needs no interference. And so removing the stressor that is causing your body to be in a sympathetic stress response causing a weakened state of immunity or whatever else that might be or digestive a lower digestive system health because you're in a stress state, whatever that is, the problem isn't the digestive problem. The problem isn't the cold or the, the, the symptom, the fever. It's that your body is suppressed because of this overload of stress. And that could be physical, chemical, or emotional stress. So by getting adjusted, her spine moving in proprioceptive movements into the spine is ultimately what the adjustment is. It ultimately helps the immune system get back, or the nervous system get back into homeostasis, or what's called balance, and then the immune system works properly and gets rid of itself. The body will heal itself. It doesn't need help. And that's just it. What we're using a medicine cabinet for is we think the body needs help healing. It doesn't need help healing. That's the medical paradigm of you need something from the outside in to heal you. The true healthcare system, I'm working on a project right now where I want to create 
we're gonna work on creating, and this is for the, this is for everyone, but it's really based focusing in on Christians and how understanding, like really the biblical sense of, of life is that you were given what you needed to, to, do th to do things, especially when it comes to health. Your body was not, there's nothing God missed. He didn't accidentally put an extra organ in in form of tonsils. He didn't accidentally put an organ in, an extra organ in, 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 in terms of a gallbladder. So none of those things should be removed. They all work together to make one system. Okay, they're all one full system. So let's get back to the symptoms in the medicine cabinet. If you have a fever, you need a fever to get to 102 degrees to kill off a bacteria. You need to get to 104 degrees to kill off a virus. So that's a good thing. You want that fever, otherwise the virus and the bacteria can take over. Our first inclination, even with kids, is that we want to get rid of the fever. Not we want to support the body and raise the fever if it needs to be raised, but we want to get rid of the fever instead of let the body do its job by killing off the virus or the bacteria or whatever the cold, the thing it's fighting because it, it took over the system because the immune system was suppressed. This other one is like the coughs. So we want the, in other words, we want the fever. Don't, don't just take something. If you have a fever, thank God that your body has a fever. Done. Rest, support your immune system, strengthen your body, reduce sugars, reduce all the things that weaken your body, reduce the stressors, give your body a chance to heal itself and trust that your body will heal itself. It's just a matter of time. The other one is cough suppressants. So we got a cough, right? So I'm coughing things up. This little girl had a cough and she was, she said her mom, her mom would say she typically gets a cough and it's just extreme. It's just all at once. It doesn't slowly come on and then it disappears one day. And I'm thinking that's great. The body goes full force to get rid of whatever it's trying to get rid of. And as long as we don't suppress it, which last time this happened, she suppressed it with a cough suppressant, the little girl ended up getting pneumonia. And here's how that works is that they've actually shown this in studies that people that take, when you take a cough suppressant to suppress the cough, you actually have a higher likelihood of getting pneumonia because you're suppressing the immune system. Same with throwing up, you're suppressing the immune system. Now there's an extent where you're throwing up so much, you don't have electrolytes, you need to do something to stop the throwing up. That would be an emergency. Okay, if you've thrown up so much and you literally just drained and you need some way of getting electrolytes in, hey, go get an IV, go to an IV clinic or go to one of those medi clinics and get you an IV with good nutrients, minerals and things like that to support your system. But you're still supporting your system while it gets rid of things, right? We move so quickly to antibiotics and things like that, it's killing us. It literally is killing us. It's leading to cancer, it's leading to all these other health issues. So that medicine cabinet, that mirror cabinet in the bathroom, isn't something we want to have. We want to get rid of that. Put chuck it full of things that are full of supportive things to your system, not things that are going to break your system down. Hope that made sense. The point of my point today is on this shift your thinking, shift your health is to honor your symptoms. Whatever you're dealing with, it's a symptom. It's your body trying to fight something off and it needs it to stay there. So let it stay there. Let your body perform its job, do its thing. Don't interfere with it. Don't try to take some medication to make you feel better for the moment. Take it, hey, just think of it this way. You being sick, you fighting that cold, or you doing whatever, you expressing health is what I call it, is all happening because you didn't do the preventative things and your system got weak and that issue has come about, the virus, the bacteria, whatever it is, has increased now and now your body really is loading up and trying to get rid of it. It's going at a power defense system. That's okay, called your immune system. If you're taking care of your body, you're keeping it strong, you don't have to worry about those things. You don't ever have to go through that process. So if you hit a wall, your immune system suppressed, virus, bacteria are seeming to take over and your body's fighting it off like a fury with a fever or with a throw up or with a cough or with a sore throat, whatever that is, let it happen. Let it be, take the heat, rest, take some time off, and it is what it is, all right? That's it, guys. Hey, like this, love it, and share it. Shift your thinking, shift your health. That will change everything for you longevity-wise for your family. And it'll also make your life more fun, too, because medications are bad for you. All right. If you guys have an awesome day, Dr. Kyle Lovis here. Go to queencityhealthcenter.com if you want help with your health. Hey, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. There's so many good videos on there that we're shooting regularly, and um, it's good stuff that you can learn from. Cool? All right. You guys have an awesome day. We'll talk.